Hello and welcome to yet another dimension. I am Jeremy and this is... I am Terry. Yes, you are Terry. And it's the end of the year and we're going to do another... Well, technically, when you see this, it might be the end of the year. It might be the beginning of the year. Who knows? Right. He always has to mess me up. Okay, let me do my intro. Let me do my <laughs> intro. It's a new year. It's a new year now. And it's the 2023 and we're going to do our most anticipated what games are we looking forward to. Like, yep. And some games that I just want to shout out as well. There's yeah, there's some like probably not. Yeah. That but I'm hoping I'm hoping it's 2023, but we'll talk about them at the end. Yeah. So we're gonna go in, in terms of release order, and we're just gonna talk about everything. Yep. We, and see what, what what we think is gonna happen with it. We got 69 games. 69, and we didn't make nice. sure. We didn't try to do that. It just happens like that. You know? It's crazy. 69 just happens without you with you least expecting it. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. We're going to start with uh, in January, at the beginning of the year. January 12th, we got a game that I probably won't play, but it looks cool. It's One Piece Odyssey. Mm -hmm. It, um, From what I was reading, it's made by the team that did the graphics for Dragon Quest XI. Oh, okay. That's why it looks. It actually does look pretty good with the anime cell shaded style. Is this like an RPG? Yep, it's a turn based okay. RPG. All right. So yeah, um, I mean, I like. I've seen a little bit of One Piece. I like it so far. It's being developed uh, by ILCA and published by Bandai Namco. What's I? So I. I don't know. I they had a it. couple other games, but they didn't have like a Wikipedia link I could click. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I mean, if it's a turn based RPG, I always give those a try because I like those games. Those, those type of games a lot. If it's that team, if it plays anything like um, Dragon Quest XI, it'll be good, though. Mm -hmm. See, I still need to play that. All right, so I added this to the list. Go ahead with the next one. Yeah, I never heard of this. It's called Vengeful Guardian Moonrider. It comes out the same day as One Piece. Did you look this up at all? I forgot. I meant to and fucking forgot. I think you will like this game. It's, it's straight up, it looks like a Super Nintendo game of its time. Oh, it's yeah. Right. It's like a uh, kind of like a sci-fi... Uh, Contra like uh, platformer, like side scroller. It looks dope. You gotta look this up. I was I seen it because I was looking up games and I was like, seen this is like, this if this game turns out well and it's not that expensive, I'm gonna buy it day one. Yeah. So I I love the sprite work on this. It's great. So definitely. And the the vengeful guardian moon rider. It's like the it's most edgy shit. It's a pretty cool name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joy Master Joy Master. Never heard of that company. That's what they're making it. So. Uh, there's a lot of seem like good indie games coming out soon. So, uh, go ahead with the next one. All right. So next we got on January 20th we got Fire Emblem Kool Aid Hair. Kool Aid I mean, Hair. Engage. Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you're not looking forward to it? Because it's Kool Aid Hair. No, I, the characters <laughs> actually look pretty cool. Yeah, I'm surprised. You, see, I'm surprised you don't really like uh, Fire Emblem or you don't really play it. I don't. It's I tried Three Houses, right? Uh huh. And it's like I like tactical games, but it's almost like there's too much going on. There is a lot like, going on. In you this move case. your guy, and then when you attack, it almost goes in like a cutscene type attack. I like that. <laughs> and I'd rather it kind of just be how like Final Fantasy Tactics or Tactics Ogre or Disgaea does it. So it just like it doesn't go to a different yeah thing. Oh, okay. I actually like that. And I prefer the grid base. I the guess. Grid base. Oh, the, I guess that is grid base. It I'm is, thinking yeah. of, like XCOM's not grid base. You just don't want that extra because like <laughs> when you like fight somebody, it's like a different like uh, setting. Yeah, yeah. You actually have to like fight them. Yeah. yeah. I actually like that, uh, but I have I, I have a cool idea for tactical games. I don't know if they've done it yet. So what? it's almost like that. So you move, and when you go to attack somebody, you go into like like a fighting game. Oh, it's a fighting game. I'm sure somebody had. I don't, don't, I don't that, know if a tactical don't, game. Don't that sound pretty dope though? Yeah. Oh wait wait wait. Is that that one the Shaman King one? Oh, I think he did say something like yeah, that. Yeah. But a, imagine like a really polished one. Yeah. Oh yeah, of his time, like today, it came yeah, out today, like Fire Emblem or did that, yeah, yeah, that'd be, hey, that'd or be like, sweet, like, or like combat, Capcom or something, like you get Street Fighter, yeah, and yeah, they use the Street Fighter engine once you get in the battle. Ooh, that's a great idea. Look, <laughs> this is we're providing all these great ideas. Come on, Capcom, it's great, Enix, somebody make that shit. That's a great idea. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, Fire Emblem Engage comes out, uh, January twentieth. Another Fire Emblem. Yep. And then four days later. You got a you got a day one buy for me. Day one. It it's uh the team that made Final Fantasy 15 Luminous Productions. You can clearly tell it looks a lot like FF15. Yeah, but the for, world does for Spoken. So I play the the demo, right? Did I did, I beat the demo. You beat the demo. Yeah. Did you really like it? I liked it. See, I 
it was a lot going on. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. does it get better when you play like play more play on it? Cause... I don't know. I sw- I switched to where it was melee combat more, and I liked uh, that a lot more. Yeah, because the... it, like, it depends the controls on the... seem like weird. It depends on the enemy too, which uh-huh. one you had to use. Okay, is there an <laughs> option to like shut them up too? Because I didn't. Oh, always yeah. talk oh about... shit! There's too many fucks and shit. Yeah, that she it just, out there. It just the, seems weird. The, the di- I'm telling you right now, the dialogue is gonna be very fucking corny. Oh uh, yeah, I mean the gameplay f- was fun though. Yeah, from what but, I played. But the dialogue is gonna be super fucking corny. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't know who's writing it, but this is made by yeah the Japanese studio, right? Yep. Okay, all right. It's like a, a isekai, like a, a a normal person going to like a fantasy world. Yeah. The the, uh, the cutscenes look really dope too from before she's in the fantasy mm-hmm. world. And there's like no load, like I you hit start and it just goes right to the game. It's yeah. like it's insane how fast stuff loads now. Uh, so anything else on that? You definitely gonna get oh, that. That's a day one, but the next one's gonna be a day one buy, probably for oh, yeah. both of us. Yeah, me too. I'll let you do this one. Dead Space remake Ooh, on the twenty seventh. I <laughs> love Dead Space. Original one is one of my favorite games of all time. So uh, EA Motive is developing them. Uh, what what else has that team done? I have no idea. I haven't really looked too much into it, but I I did watch the trailer. I mean not the trailer, but the gameplay trailer for it. And it looked good. He's actually not a sound protagonist anymore. Yeah, he talks. I see. Yeah, that. and uh, and it it seems better, like the, the storyline. Because that was like one of my criticisms for it. Because he never talked. You think it's gonna be better than Callisto? I think so. We could try Callisto before you leave. I have it on PC. It's okay. installed. Ooh, I think I just got it. Mm. <clears throat> I yeah, I heard a lot of mixed things before that game, but uh, this game is I think is a masterpiece when it came out. It was it was a game changer and uh it's funny that this game comes out a remake of this and then with the game that inspired Dead Space the original one is coming out with a remake as well but we'll talk about that later uh-huh. uh but yeah uh, this is day one definitely this is the game I'm buying in January definitely and, and I can't I'm, wait and, and I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to drop some fucking loot in January bro yeah, I want you're for, right <laughs> I want for spoken and Dead Space yeah so for me yeah definitely that's it Dead for Space January that I want okay. Dead Space and Eventual guardian of it comes out looking good and like it's good uh, yeah. reviews so yeah that space is a pick for me January. Yeah, so now we're moving on to february oh and so this is the game i i uh, added to it i didn't look i didn't get a chance to look up any of your games i meant to and we started taking all the christmas decorations down and i completely forgot to look stuff up hey man look i'll describe <laughs> it to you uh but february 9th yeah it's clash artifacts of chaos i wouldn't add something that i didn't think it was dope it's made by Ace Team. I've never heard of them. I feel like I have, and I can't remember what their logo looks like. Uh, it's like the the cards, playing cards. Nope, it's never like mind. That. Uh, but this game looks sweet. It looks like uh, God of War, like the newer ones, but the, it's like the art style is very unique. It's like watercolor painting. It looks dope as fuck, and um, it's like really crazy looking characters. Something like uh, from Mad Max, I guess. Oh, Mad okay, Max okay, looking. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to think of the name. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like a beat 'em up too. Ooh, where yeah, it's like it's close. It's it's really like over the shoulder, like kind of new. God of War games are, and uh, and you're trying to save like this little like animal. I don't know. It's like the, you can't even tell like what I'm they de- are. I'm definitely gonna look up all these games. Yeah. That I don't know. And um, I just remembered one that I don't know. I'm not 100 percent if it's coming out this year, but remember the game Lords of the Fallen back in the 360 era. Mm-hmm. They're making a Lord of the Fallen. So it was a different Remember game? the last one kind of ripped oh, off? Oh, yeah, old, we saw the. Yeah. They ripped off old God of War last time, and they're uh-huh. ripping off new God of War this time. So that might come out this year. I just want to at least mention it while, before I forget. It Wasn't there a trailer for that? Yep. In the okay. Game Awards, I game think. Game Awards. So, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this game if it's good or not. Um, you should definitely look that up. But next one is a big game coming out. This up. game comes out for all you muggles out there <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy. Avalanche Software. You ever heard of them? I've heard of them, but see, this is the. This is the reason why I'm not looking too much into this game because uh, Avalanche Software, I looked it up and they made like a whole bunch of licensed games that nothing really of note. So This looks really good though. But yeah, the game looks impressive. I, I, I recently watched the Harry Potter uh, movies and I thought they were really good, but I think I would rather play a game in the Harry Potter uh, universe because it's a cool universe. Yeah, I'm not. I'm a huge fucking Harry Potter fan. Huge. So you think it's a good day one for you? This is not a day one for me just because I don't trust licensed games. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, and like there's not a lot of like good Harry Potter uh, this, games. This might be like a week one buy if it's good. If it's good. If it gets good reviews or if they drop a demo and I like it or mm-hmm. something. 
I'm gonna wait for it so I'm gonna yeah. see what you think of it and probably buy it, buy it later on if you get it so this is another one from you one oh, yeah. wanted dead is this like the movie wanted no it's not like that it's more like a it's, it's made by a Japanese studio oh. so Leo so I don't know uh, they made some janky games. So this is the jank of the year for me. Uh, this feels, this looks like uh, like a very budget title, but a lot of shit is put into it. It looks like, a, I guess, a Japanese cyberpunk. Uh, it like it's like, has like a hack and slash and also shooting a little bit of Ghost in the Shell. It looks really cool, but then like they start like the voice acting is kind of like I don't shaky. Care. I don't care about That's what I'm saying. I, I like that though. I like how insane it is. I think you will like this game. I think you should definitely look this up. It has like anime cut scenes too. I for I, I've, I know we talk about it all the time, giving it charm. But I've, I think I've almost come to the conclusion that I prefer bad voice acting. You prefer bad games. voice? <laughs> I don't know if I prefer bad voice acting. Preferred, Pre preferred voice acting. <laughs> uh, we changed the name. Uh, but I think it gives it gives it like certain games, like horror games. I think it works really well at horror games because it's like. It's like what the fuck? Why are people acting so weird? Like they don't. It's just put like a bizarre element to it. That yeah, like. yeah, yeah. But yeah, definitely in horror games. But not all games. Like if the voice acting is really good, really, really good. I like that. But if it's just like okay, I'm random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like something seems kind of off. Yeah. You so, but you just you just want bad voice acting. You, I don't know. <laughs> or no voice acting. I just love like, all the so many games I like like. I, we always bring up Shenmue, bro. I could not imagine Shenmue would not be better with good voices. No, I don't. I, I don't agree. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I agree. I agree. Now, Shenmue Three has bad voice acting. I love acting. it. I love the voice acting. I love the tone. I just the, the, the fighting, yeah, yeah ruined it. Mm -hmm. So they just ruined it like that. It's not because of the voice acting. It's because of the combat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with you on that. I I love bad voice acting. It, it really adds to the game. Yeah. So, so we uh, another day one by for me next it's a theater rhythm final bar line it's a final fantasy rhythm um, game rhythm game they also throw like shit from their other titles like the 3ds game mm -hmm. has like uh near xenogears some saga some mana songs and shit like that that sounds like a f i like rhythm games they're fun they yeah. say yeah they had a one like this before right? it's on 3ds 3ds okay you like that one yep yeah indy zero they made the last one or I don't know. I never heard of them. No, okay. Uh but next one, Tales of Symphonia Remastered comes out February sixteenth. Oh yeah, so Theater Rhythm comes out February sixteenth. Yeah, same day. Uh so you're gonna get that day one, you think? If it if it comes with the steel book, I'll get it day one. If not, I'll hold on. Okay. So you can get a steel book off their website, but mm -hmm. they they uh screw you with shipping. Oh they do? It's like ten or fifteen bucks to ship or something. I'm not paying that. I'll pay five bucks. Five bucks, yeah. That sounds good. Or free. Give yeah. it free shipping. Uh, so, I have like a remaster of Tales of Symphonia for, on, Wii? for the, the PS3. They have it on the PS3. Oh, I have that the too. Chronicles. I have that too. Yeah. So, I might... I, I don't know if it's like a much improvements that they can do. So. This is a real remaster though. That was more of an upscale, I think. Hey, if it's better, I'm, I mean, I don't know how much it's going to be. Like $40, 30 So Yeah. Uh, but I'll probably just wait on that. Uh, but... I'm su I'm surprised you don't like Tales of games a lot. Like I've that. never beat a Tales of game. Yeah, I, don't you like action RPGs a lot? Yeah, I I got 30 hours in to Berseria, mm -hmm. and then uh, my save file fucked up with their cloud shit on Steam, and I didn't want to restart. Oh, okay. But yeah, Tales of games are they're fucking dope. They're always pretty good. So uh, okay, let's continue on. What's the next one? The next one's Wild Hearts. Oh yeah, that's the one I added. So. This is kind of like Monster Hunter. It comes out February 17th. It's by Koei. It's not a Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, and I'm glad they're not doing something like that. But they're basically doing monster, their own Monster Hunter. Yeah. And it looks pretty doesn't, fun. Doesn't Koei do uh, God Eater too? God Eater? Do they? That's like a Monster Hunter game. Oh, is it? It might be Bandai Namco though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But this is this looks like a big budget one. And I thought it looked cool. Uh, I probably won't buy it <laughs> like right away. But if it goes on sale, I'll try it out. But I liked Monster Hunter, but the multiplayer component in that game is trash. So you can just continue on. Now this game, I'm looking forward to. A Fuck lot. yeah, me too. Atomic Heart comes out on my girlfriend's birthday, Happy February birthday. February 21st. By I never heard of Munfish, but this looks like an old school arena shooter. It's got the composer who did all the music for Doom. Oh really? Yep. Sweet. That's why the music. 
It looks fucking dope. Yeah. Look this shit up. Like, or, oh, or put some gameplay in on it right here. Oh, I know. Right? I am putting gameplay. This everything. game looks fucking sick. It's it's it got boss battles and stuff like mm -hmm. arena style shit, like the new Doom, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Fucking, that's the type of shooting games I like. I want more of that, mm -hmm. more yeah. high quality of that. And it has like the alternative like uh, history to it, <laughs> like Soviet Soviet Union and um. It's kind of like, it has that Bioshock look to it where like you, you have like powers. Oh, speaking it. of that, that's not coming out this next year, is it? That bio, that new Bioshock people game? I don't think so. I forgot no. what it was called. I haven't heard anything about that coming out this year. But Atomic Heart, the only thing about this is Munfish. I think this is our first game. I have never heard of them. I don't, so this is kind of like, but I like... This is like something. It's gonna be something new. I think it's. Know, gonna, I think it's gonna be on Game Pass, so I get to try. It oh, you get for free. Oh, for free. I gotta come over. Yep. Come over and play it, uh, or just get an Xbox. No, I know this. This next game's got both our dicks hard. Oh, yes. It comes out the same day as Atomic Heart. Yakuza. <laughs> like it. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> like a dragon, Ishin. Ishin. Yeah. It's it's a remake of Yakuza Ishin. For PS3, yeah, it, did, it, so, did that come out in America? No, I didn't. I would have it. <laughs> they they had like so it's always like a samurai. It's basically samurai. It's, it's got all the same characters in it though, yeah. like Majima mm -hmm. and uh, Kiryu. Yeah. So they they never released this the PS3 version in uh, America, and I, I was I was gonna get it eventually, but then they announced this. I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna get this instead. Was, I'm sure it's coming out of everything. <laughs> oh, I can't. Wait. Yeah, this is. This is this is gonna be sweet. Yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna be like it's gonna be hard to pick which I can't buy all this shit <laughs> the same day. Uh, yeah, because I want hopefully a time of cards on Game Pass. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm buying Yakuza day one, I, or I'm calling it Yakuza. I don't. It's easier to say, and it, I, I, I think mean, it's a cooler name. So it's called uh, it's it, called like a dragon though. in Japan. It's called like a. Are you gonna call Resident Evil Biohazard? Exactly. It's called like a dragon in Japan. But I like the name like. Um, I don't know. It's a day one for me. The I'm gonna still call it Yakuza. Though. <laughs> the, the next one might be a day one for me because it's a remake. It's a Kirby's Return to Dream Lane Deluxe. It's oh, a yeah. remake of one of the old Kirby games. Oh, I yeah. forgot which one. Maybe the first one. I think it's probably the first one. Yeah. And but. the newer ones, I feel like, are slower paced, like Star Allies and stuff like they that. Are. Uh, the, the two, the new two D ones are. Ever since N64, every Kirby game has either not been a Kirby game, or if it's a regular 2D one, they're slower paced, and they're not as fun because they're slower paced. Like K Kirby Superstar, uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, all that shit, and the older NES ones are all fucking dope. The um yeah, the new one that just came out, yeah, it is it is kind of slower paced to compare it to the older ones. The older ones are, in my in my opinion, are superior. You said the 3D one's cool. I forgot what that. The was 3D called. one is Forgotten World. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of too easy, unfortunately. Yeah. So I mean, Kirby games are supposed to be pretty easy. It's for for like kids, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. So Kirby Dreamland, Return to Dreamland comes out February 24th. Yep. And uh, coming also coming out February 24th. Oh. Octopath Traveler 2. Oh, oh, oh. Did you beat the first one? Uh, no. I have this weird thing with the Switch where... Oh, yeah, you don't like the Switch. Yeah, <laughs> if something's on the Switch, for some reason, I don't fucking play it. And it's only on the Switch? No. It's now on. it's on Xbox and PC. And Eric Game Shares with me, so technically I have it on PC. Oh, yeah. So, so I, ha I installed it recently. I might go through it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. So what do you think? Uh, does it look good to you? Fuck yeah, the art style is fucking dope, uh -huh. dude. This is the best JRPG, turn-based JRPG art style you can have. Cause it has that old school yeah. look, but like updated. The HD 2D. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's another game with that live, same art style. Live alive. Live, uh, live, live, live a live. Live yeah. alive. Some. No, but there's another one coming out in 2023 oh, with okay. that same art style. We'll talk about. So yeah, that's definitely day one for you, right? Yeah. Okay. So if this game turns out well, I think this is gonna be a day one because it looks like Returnal. It's Scars Above, coming out February 27th. Madhead Games. Oh, you ever heard of it? Never heard of them. Um, I looked them up. I, I mean, they had like a little bit of smaller games. This seems like the like the first big game. Yeah. But this game looks just like a Returnal. It's like it feels like it's copyrighted. I need to and play Returnal now that I have the oh, yeah, Game should. Pass shit. Yeah, you should. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's it's pretty difficult. I mean, it's a roguelike, like, so 
you gotta deal with that. But the gameplay is fucking sweet. Yeah. But this looks more like a slow paced one. Uh, more like uh, I guess the new God of War. It's more uh, not as action packed, but I I love when they go to like foreign planets and like discover alien worlds. I love that shit. So a game that looks like that, and if it plays anything like Returnal, I'm gonna love it. So I'm gonna wait for the reviews and see what it, how it does, and probably buy it. I, I'm, gonna, sweet. I'm gonna look it up too. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it was on the um, the uh, game wars. Yeah, game wars. Okay. Yeah. The next one I add this as well yeah. is Wulong Fallen Di- a Dynasty. I've seen trailers for this. It's like uh, it's another Souls like, right? Yeah, like it's... Neo, but this is <laughs> same know, team takes place too. In Chinese, you know, the ancient Chinese dynasties. Same team that did Neo. Yep, Team Ninja, and that's the reason why I'm interested in it. And I, I mean, Souls like, I mean, I love that genre now, and I'll try anything that comes out with that. I probably, I wouldn't, not, I'm probably not going to get this day one. I still need to play Neo. Well, if you look at stuff like Neo, it goes on sale very fast. Yeah. I mean, I have Neos. I have, I have Neo 1. I have Neo 2. And I want to at least try to beat that and then probably go to this. But yeah. this game looks sweet. Uh, I mean, I love Soul like Souls like games. Oh, here you go. You like these next type of games? Oh, too. yeah. Hell yeah. But I'm by glad the way, they bring this back. Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, March 3rd. Yeah, March 3rd. And this game. Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. It's a remake, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's a remake because this game uh, comes out March 9th. And this game only came out in Japan on the Wii. So that's why this is, feels like a brand new game. And it's the, I think it's the fourth uh, game in the Fatal Frame series, which uh, it's, I love those games. Uh, the second one is like probably the best one. Uh, and it's, it's, it's like cool mechanic where you take the pictures of the ghosts and it's like really creepy. Did it get good reviews? And- yeah, it did. It got good reviews and they're bringing the original, it back. Yeah. yeah, so it comes out. I think all of the systems too. So That's I'm cool. looking forward to this. Uh, so this, I the next game, we saw this on the Game Awards. This was a weird one. I was like, what the fuck is this? This is Bayonetta Origins, Teresa and the Lost Demon. So it kind of looks like a storybook game. It's still made by Platinum, which is weird because it doesn't look like a Platinum game. That's why, and I, and I didn't realize this. This. There was like a, a little hidden mini game in Bayonetta 3. I had no idea. I looked it up and it, it was just like this. It's kind of like, it's not really, it's, you just control like the demons yeah. that you do it. It's not really a like a third person like action game. So I'm looking, I look forward to it. Hopefully it's like a cheaper game where I like, because I'm not going to buy this for the price. Yeah. So it's like a side game prequel to it. It looks interesting. It's made by Platinum Games. And I like Platinum Games a lot. And it comes out on... St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. The same, okay. And another game cancel, comes out on St. Patrick's Day. Yep. I put this because I respect Respawn Entertainment a lot. It's Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And it's supposedly supposed to be a Souls-like game, so I it's like a, this. Thing. It's a sequel to... Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a direct sequel. I haven't beaten that yet. Um, but I, I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars. I'm not either. Yeah. So if it was like something else, I'd be more excited for it. But it's, I mean, it should be still a good game. It got yeah. good reviews last time. So I wanted to shout that out for all the Star Wars fans and all the Respawn fans. I'm glad they're not just doing, uh, what? Apex. Apex. I'm just glad they're not just doing that. Oh. So how about this next game? Woo! I can't wait. Resident Evil 4 Remake. Oh, fuck it. I played the original last year when I had COVID. And it's still... 10 out of 10 masterpiece. I love that game. So but do much. you have the chainsaw controller? No, I do not. I do. I will later. I'm gonna drug this dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it comes out March 24th, and I can't wait for it. Are you gonna get it? I have the collector's edition pre-order. He's gonna get it. And your girlfriend loves it. This is like the game that she absolutely loves, right? She's beaten Resident Evil 4 on the Wii at least 25 times. <clears throat> I, I don't know if they got beat all the fucking Resident Evil games that many and, times. Damn. And I mean beat it like unlock like everything. Like the uh the gun that kills everybody once you yeah. charge it up. She gets the mafia suit for uh Leon, mm-hmm. the night suit for Ashley. So average. Yeah, she beats she's beaten fucking everything. Damn. <laughs> uh so but hey, Resident Evil 4, I love it. And I'm looking forward to this more because it's not exactly the same and I'm, I'm okay with that. It has like more like a darker tone to it. Like the original one is more campy and it does have like the, that voice acting that yeah. I like, but I like it. It's I think it's going to be good. Uh, this is a high order because that game has a lot of shit in it. And I, they might cut out a lot. I don't know, I like that. 
Because there's a lot. There's a lot to that game. This is this is a like a big fan favorite game. So I don't know if they will cut stuff out. And I, they might have learned their lesson after RE3 because yeah. people were mad about that. I it's not the same team that made RE3. It's not the same team that made RE2, the remake. And they didn't really cut anything out of that. But those games are much shorter than this. And like yeah. there's not a lot of shit going on. So I think they will. But I think it's still be good. Yeah. I just, well, well, I'm definitely gonna buy it. I'll let you guys know when. So yeah, March 24th on that. Day one for me, definitely. Now March 26th, we got Rocksteady dropping another DC game. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> I think this actually the, looks cool, and yeah. I don't like. Oh wow! Really you really you think it looks cool? That trailer they showed at the yeah. Game Awards looked dope. Yeah. I'll, the more times I see, it, I was like, oh yeah, this looks kind of cool. Uh, I wanted to do that out of respect to Rocksteady because they haven't. At least the games since 2015. So oh, one of those Arkham games is the last game they made. Yeah, that's the last one. So this it's been a long time since they made a game. Have they been working on that since the this since the? I, I think they made they were made a like a like a VR side game and then I think this is it. It's been just this and so it has to be good. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. Um, it looks like a multiplayer focused game though. I think. You think you think it would just be multiplayer? I don't know, like a couch co op type yeah. game or deal. Hopefully, or? I mean that'd be cool. Oh uh, yeah, but that comes out big game, March twenty six. So uh, oh yeah, go ahead with the next one. Oh, so th- this was like the first trailer we've seen at the Game Awards, right? Mm-hmm. It's technically a DLC, but it was cool enough. I figured we had to put it on here. It comes out quarter one, twenty twenty three. It's a Dead Cells down DLC, Return to Castlevania. I was so surprised when I seen them. I was like, what yeah, is this, they, this? Castlevania? They had Castlevania characters and maps and shit. It mm-hmm. looked dope. Plus, Dead Cells. I played, a, like, I probably have, like, five, six hours into it. It's dope. Yeah, that game is really good. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it comes out this year. It doesn't have a, a set release date. Motion Twin, I never... Is that the uh, that's that probably made? who made the... That's Dead Cells? Yeah. All right. So next game is Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection, April, tw- April, April 14th. I mean, of course, yeah. it's made by Capcom. Uh, you ever play the Battle Network games? No, but they look really dope. They were all mobile. So yeah. Oh, really yeah. Played See, them. I never played them either. But it's like, it's almost like an action RPG, but turn-based at the same time. And, like, tactical. You're on a grid, right? Mm-hmm. I think you can attack whenever. I think you can move whenever and attack whenever. Oh, you can? And you're just yeah. on the two grids. I think that's how it works, yeah. Um, I've always wanted to play them. Like you like said, it was on mobile. I didn't play yeah. them that much. Uh, a lot of mobile stuff when I got older. Uh, yeah. But that comes out April 14th. I'm glad they're bringing out back all the old school games. Uh, and then, look, I was surprised because I, I seen this game coming out and I was like, ah, it's Dead Island 2. Like, who cares? But then I looked up the gameplay. I thought it looked sweet. Like, the. Bro, this game's been in development for so fucking long. It switched, like, it switched developers at one point. <laughs> yeah, and... it's damn Buster Studios. Never heard of them. Yeah. But I, I looked up the trailer and it looked like a lot of fun. I mean, I like zombie games when it's, you know, it's done right and like the uh, the zombies look great and like the kills look great. Um, I'm not saying it's gonna be like a great game. It could be like Saints Row from uh, this year, which yeah. is like complete shit. But you never know. From the trailer, I was impressed. Uh, that comes out April 28th. This of this space Dead Island 2 comes out. And then ooh, a big one for me at least. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. A May 26th. Four days before my birthday. I won't get it for your birthday. How about that? <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. You take it, but you ain't gonna play it, though. <laughs> I'm the fucking Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo. fucking PS3.5. Ah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, you can run it. Um, it even struggled back then. Uh, but I love the original, uh, I mean, the Breath of the Wild. I think this is sequel to it but i'm excited for it it's gonna be at least good and uh definitely day one buy for me so i know you didn't like it though so yeah. we'll just move on but this game i saw you, you had this on there yeah did you look I, it up? I, I looked it up it's it looks fucking sweet it's like a fucking super nintendo looking wwf e whatever you want to say fucking rpg WWF. wrestle quest wrestle quest yes this is like a dream game for me yeah. i was like what could you this imagine getting this back in the day man i'm i'm, sh- I'm sure they had somebody has done an rpg with wrestling it had, i don't it think has, they have dude man i gotta look that up that's but that it looks sweet yeah and it looks like from the, like the old school mega cast studios i don't know who did that who, who's that but it looks all sweet. those indie all those like super nintendo looking games are always indie teams yeah i mean it looks sweet though yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to that 
I'm glad uh, you put that on there because it was sweet. Yeah, I did the next one too. All right, go ahead. Trinity Trigger comes out in the spring. I never heard of Three Rings designs, but this is uh, greatly inspired by like the old uh, Secret of Mana, Trials of Mana games. Mm -hmm. and the, I just looked it up. The art style looks great. Yeah, it looks. It, the gameplay looks just like the um, like Adventures of Mana remake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, you you think you're gonna get that day one? If you depends on the price, maybe price, and yeah. maybe if uh, the reviews are good. Is it by Square Enix? Like nope. released by them? Nope. It just this the Three Rings design. Yep, it's an oh, indie right. game. Huh. I mean, it looks kind of like high quality, like really like high budget. Yeah, it, it, it looks is. pretty good. Yeah. So I'm not really looking forward to this next game, but because I usually play the game before when they release the next one. It's Street Fighter VI. Which comes out June 2nd. I mean, of course, by Capcom. But uh, it's always, they always release DLC and shit for the next game. They I had to add to it. They even figured out a way to do that back on the Super Nintendo and shit. Yeah. How many fucking different versions of Street Fighter 2 is there? They milked the fuck out of it. And people still buy it. Still, people still excited for it. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, if somebody want to gift me it, I'll play it. But I, I'm going to start playing Street Fighter 5 now. <laughs> yeah. That's what I usually do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the gameplay looks sweet. Uh, it was looking kind of weird when they did like the character correct. The yeah, it looked real jank. Yeah, but then like they went to the actual gameplay and it looked I good. I don't like the new logo. Oh, your yeah, new logo looks like shit. Yeah, I don't like it either. Uh, but, I mean, it's another Street Fighter game. People are excited. All the Street Fighter fans, I'm sure you're excited. Uh, but this is oh, for you, man. The next one's a big one for me, man. Like, the biggest so far. Really? That I'm set. Your most anticipated? Up to June, yes. Oh, it's up to June. Okay. It's what? Final Fantasy 16. Oh, wait, what on about? June. Oh, I skipped one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I got, ex I got too excited. <laughs> You can, so look. I got I got two <laughs> back to back yeah. that I'm really excited for. June's gonna Sorry. be crazy, month. We skipped over Diablo <laughs> Four. Yeah. So I hope it's on Game Pass. Uh huh. So I can try it before I buy it. So I'm always ever since Halo Infinite, bro. I'm I'm terrified of new games that I from shit I love. Okay. And like Diablo Three was worse than Diablo Two. Uh huh. So but it looks good. I hope it's on Game Pass because Microsoft owns Blizzard now. I think it will be. Yeah, but it looks it looks good. I, I think they might have learned from their wrongs in their uh, Diablo 3. And they seen how good Path of Exile did, which was basically Diablo 2.5. So I'm really hoping that Diablo 4 is a hit for me. I know, because you like the second one a lot. A lot. Yeah. So I'm hoping it's good for you. Yeah. So uh, sorry. No, that's, yeah, that's, June, I, that's I, June 6th. I was that's, surprised that he was oh. like, whoa, you, you that excited for that? And... and <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. I can't fucking wait. There's um, so there's two different kinds of collector's editions you can pre-order. There's the hundred dollar one that only comes with a couple things. That's at all retailers. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Square, you, I talked about it in what's the pickups? Pickups, yeah. Yeah, where they screwed us over with the the fucking Pixel Remaster, where they overpriced it and then shipping's yeah, expensive. They did the same thing with the collector's edition of um the the big one. Mm -hmm. So. It's either 300 or 350 and then they, they dog you out on shipping, dude, and you can only get it through the store. So I, I, re, I pre-ordered the $100 version at Best Buy. Hey, you're getting something. Maybe yeah. you can get it down the line. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah, June 22nd, this is day one for me. Easy. Day one, yeah. This yeah. is like day one. I might take off work for a day or two. I'm that excited. Might it? as well. Yeah, I know you probably can beat it like Elden Ring in like a couple of days. Mad man. Like, yeah, once I got... One, <laughs> Elden Ring took me a minute. Like, I played it like two or three times, and I'm like, eh, I might hop off. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what happened, but I got on and got hooked after that. That's, how, that's how it does You it. remember, we did the the uh, early thoughts in on that one yeah. video. Uh -huh. And I'm like, eh. It's all right. I was and like, then oh, I, okay. I'm the only one of us three that dogged it out for a while, long oh, time. Like, it took me a long time to beat that game. <laughs> I'm like, this guy beat it like a couple. Like, it's yeah, but a I week. put like 70 hours into it. Yeah, I, I put a lot of hours. I, I did like I took my time with that. That's my baby. But uh, yeah. So this is this is uh, Final Fantasy 16. You think it's gonna be game of the year for you? If it's good. No, because Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth comes out later in the oh, year. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe, maybe you like this more, huh? Maybe you like this more. You Final know? Fantasy 7 Rebirth has a chance to be 2024 because all they have is winter. Okay. Yeah. It could. It could yeah. push it back. Yeah. But so, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, this comes out June 22nd. Creative Business Unit 3. What kind of... 
It's Square Enix Creative Business Unit 3. Yeah. It's like so cre Creative name. Business Unit 1 does Final Fantasy 7 remake. Oh, okay. Alright, so, yeah. That's his most anticipated so far. So you, you added this next one. I didn't even know they were making a RoboCop game. Yes, RoboCop, Rogue City. So I was I looked this up, I'm like, I like RoboCop a lot. and I'll buy that for a dollar. You buy, you buy that for a dollar. Uh, and I looked this up. It looks decent. And Is then, it a first-person shooter? It's a first-person shooter. Uh, Taeyeon uh, develops it. So they made a uh, Terminator game, uh, Terminator Resistance. The one it's, on the Xbox? Is it like a newer one? Original Xbox. No, no, it's like a newer. It's like a newer one that came out oh. a couple years ago. And I looked it up, and it, it looked good. So I think they can do a good job with this. I just put this on here because maybe it'd be like a sleeper hit. So yeah. hopefully it come, turns out well. This next game could also be a sleeper hit. Not many people know about it. No, but it comes out in the first half of 2023. That's all they gave us. It's called Starfield. Starfield. What is? Who makes it? Oh, this is some little indie company called Bethesda. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I heard it. They make that that the Fallout's and the yeah. this Elder Scrolls. Something yeah, like, something something like, like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. So no, but, hopefully this hopefully comes but, out this year. <laughs> bro, this was supposed to come out in November. <laughs> I can't wait for this. I've been I've had a huge itch for this type of game for a while. Cyberpunk kind of scratched it, and then Elden Ring kind of scratched it, but Elden Ring's not first person. It's kind of different. Mm. I I need a fucking Bethesda game. Because that, that game's... It, I hope Starfield's nothing good. Nothing as big as... I fucking hope Starfield's good. It looks good. Because if not, we have to wait. Who knows how long before we get oh, yeah. Elder Scrolls uh, gonna 6. Be, we're going to be in our 40s. I think it's going to come out in 2025. 2025, you think? And that's, that game's going to be huge because Skyrim, oh still people still play Skyrim. As popular as Skyrim is, they're putting their whole dick yes. and balls into this next game. I guarantee it. I swear they forget about every other game now. Yeah. But, they, but Starfield, that's a huge game because that is... They're putting their whole Bethusy but <laughs> in the fucking Elder Scrolls Six. I promise. <laughs> nice. I like that. Bars. <laughs> so, yeah, that comes... It doesn't have a release date. I don't know how. No. Oh, yeah. I don't know how Starfield doesn't either. I yeah. mean, they, this is... It makes no sense. So, the next game, I added late. <laughs> I was like, let me let's see this game. It's Curse of the Sea Rats uh, by Platoon Studios. Early 2023. Uh, you didn't look this up, right? Nope. Okay, so it's like a Metro, yeah. Metroidvania game where like it has like great animation. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, like I said, Castlevania. Uh, but it the animation the boss fights look dope as fuck. I, it's some of the best animation I've seen in a while. Is it sprite based? It's not sprite based, so I know you probably don't like that. No, I'll still look it up because like Bloodstain was dope. I, I would compare it to Bloodstain, okay. but like the animation is way better. Than this. Okay. And, like everybody is rats. I mean, it's like a curse. Like you turn into rats. Oh, I like killing furries. See. see, yeah, see, this is perfect for you, man. Kill the furries, huh? For you. <laughs> Respect to the furries. Uh, so I mean, that's it for me for that one. I never uh, heard of the next game either. Flint Rock, The Siege of Dawn, early 2023. Uh, eerie. Eight. Eerie 2023. Eerie. Oh, Eerie. Yes. Yeah. Just got to call out my uh, last minute <laughs> ads. Uh, but uh, uh, it's a hack and slash kind of uh, a game where uh, it's like over the shoulder hack and slash game. I'll, it look cool. I'll put some footage up. It's just like a last minute ad that I, I thought was cool. Uh, kind of looks like a... So it has a female protagonist where like uh kind of like a egyptian like the, that type of era yeah but uh, yeah so i added this one too it's like a survival horror game uh gray hill incident comes out q2 2023 um it's kind of like uh you ever see the movie si uh, science yeah so it's, kinda, it's aliens yes yeah, aliens it, the, it's something unique like the grays seen. like the yeah. gray aliens yeah you never see games with like alien invasions like that like the old school alien invasions yeah it looks cool and it's like a first person uh survival horror game and i i mean i love survival horror and i'm looking forward to this hopefully it's good uh and then i know that you've been looking for this game i kickstarted this next game uh -huh. a and while it, ago so it's, it was it like a, a success yeah okay so it's from the creators of the messenger which was like a ninja gaiden uh clone ripoff mm -hmm. thing that but it was really good called sea of stars it looks dope it's in the same universe as the messenger but it, it, it looks and plays like chrono trigger oh, yeah, it looks but great it, it has like a day and night cycle and shit too shit i didn't know about all that yeah it looks dope. sabotage studio never heard of them yeah uh but yeah i'm if that it comes hopefully it comes out this year 
summer uh, 2023. Uh, and then another. Uh, this, this And then next is my game of the year <laughs> if it comes out this year. If it comes out this year. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Ooh. This, so, you're getting to the fucking meat uh-huh. of the. Like Midgar is like my least favorite part of the game. Mm-hmm. And I still love the first remake. The first part is great. So, yeah, and that's the worst part of the game. That's hilarious. <laughs> Um, and now we're getting out, like, we're going to be in calm. We're going to get to see the fucking flashback where Sephiroth burns the city down. I wonder if they're going to include Genesis and stuff in the re the redone version. Cause in final fantasy seven original, like Genesis and Angeal, they're all from crisis core. Um, they weren't in the original game at all. So I wonder I'm, if they're going to include assuming They probably would do that. Too. I mean, they, they changed a lot. So didn't they, for the first one? They, I yeah, heard they, they changed a couple things. They Don't mostly, tell me all. They mostly added stuff, mm-hmm. but there, there's some stuff they changed. There's some stuff that's confusing. Like, it's like almost like there's going to be two separate timelines almost okay. without spoiling anything. But you like it though. You like it. Too. I still, I still, it's it was so fucking fun, dude. Right. It was yeah. so fucking fun. And you like the gameplay more, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is your game of the year so far. Yeah. <laughs> game of the year if it comes out this year, winter 2023. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so Witchfire, I didn't see this one. I added this one too. Um, mm-hmm. It's a first person shooter. You're killing like witches and shit. It's like dark gothic kind of. Oh. And okay. when it first came out, they said it was more arena based. It seems like they're trying to go a little more open world with it now. So, I mean, I probably would have preferred the arena shit, but mm-hmm. open world can be cool too if it's done right. I've never heard of the astronauts. That's the developer. Yeah, me neither. But there's gameplay of this game. It looks dope. Okay. So, I'll look it up. You I mean, I'm going next... to add it. You added the next one, but I, I have seen gameplay of this at the Game Awards, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this is Mina the Howler. It's made by Yacht Club Games, the people that made Shovel, Shovel Knight. Knight. Oh, and I love Shovel Knight. It was my favorite game from 2014. And uh, Damn, it was that long ago. Yes, <laughs> I remember playing it. It's December 2023. Hopefully, it comes out this year. Uh, it, lo- actually... it looks really nice. I love the sprites and shit. Oh yeah, um, it's kind of like uh, it's. Over, I mean, t- over the top. Uh, I mean, top down. Uh, kind of like they have uh, the combat of Castlevania, and it's kind of like the structure of uh, Legend of Zelda. So it's kind of like mixing up the, all those uh, games. Yeah. And it looks fucking sweet. It does look cool, man. And if it's anything like Shovel Knight, it's gonna be one of my favorite games. And hopefully, it comes out this year. They actually kickstarted it. Uh, I looked it up. They didn't really need to use Kickstarter, but they wanted to add on to the game. Yeah. Because they self-funded it. Yeah. But yeah, the Yacht Club games, they made, they've only really made uh, Shovel Knight and like a whole bunch of like they produce, DLC. They produce shit too. Like, didn't they do uh, Cyber Shadow? Shadow, yeah. That game's really good. Uh, I forgot who, I think it's Machine Head Games or whatever. But this is their like first brand new IP yeah. since that. And I'm looking forward to that a lot. So as it comes out in December, we got a long time. Yeah. It's going to be a whole, whole year. The next game I have been following since 2018. Man, this is everyone talking about. <laughs> it's called Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Yeah. So when it first got announced, you would see Psy Games and Platinum Games both on it, right? Mm-hmm. It's got the art artist from Final Fantasy Tactics and Nier, the composer from Final Fantasy 1 through 13 nobu matsu um it looked like it played a lot like near automata mm-hmm. but now uh platinum games is no longer it never says their name on any of it anymore and side games is doing it by themselves so probably why it's taking so long because they probably left the team so i don't know if platinum games just did their part and then left oh, yeah, like they, they, they only contracted out a certain part mm-hmm. or what's going on but it still looks good I, i'm still probably gonna buy it day one especially because i've been following it so long at this point but I can't fucking wait. It looks, it's, it looks great. Yeah. Hopefully it comes out. It's been a while. Yeah. All right. What's the next game? Next game is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. I know one came out this year, right? No. One came out a long time ago. No, I'm talking about like, like oh, one uh, of them. Like right? some, isn't it a Battle Royale or something that came out? I don't know. I was confused by it because it was like multiple Swan games. Swan Song, right? Yeah. So what, is this like an RPG or is it? Yeah, I think it's, I never played the first one, but I've heard a lot of my friends talk about it through my life. That's really, it looked, it's like you play different kinds of vampires. Mm-hmm. Some of them are like the Nosferatu kind. So you can't, Ooh. you can't go out in the daytime. Cause like, I think you'll burn. No, 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 no. Could you, I don't remember Nosferatu that much, but you're ugly. So people know you're a vampire. Yeah, and yeah. then some of them look, look like, like a human. 
some of them look like people and you can go out and they all have different powers that sounds like a dope concept because vampires are sweet yeah and hopefully they do it right uh but yeah i was looking forward to this as well i wasn't sure when it came out though uh another game come out this year hopefully lord of the rings Gollum. it doesn't mm-hmm. honestly look that cool yeah that's why i was like eh, it looks all right yeah uh, I don't have to see more of it, uh, but if you play as Gollum, hopefully it's it's good. Yeah, hopefully it's cool. The next game. Oh yeah, this next Ooh. game looks dope. It's uh, the team that made the old Sue Coden games. Mm-hmm. Basically, Sui, Sui Coden, Sue Coden, Coden. Yeah, yeah. spiritual successor to it. Yeah, um, Ayuden Chronicles Hundred Heroes. It looks mm-hmm. and plays like Sue Coden. Yeah, I think it's made by the same makers. Right? Yeah, 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 same uh, developer. Yep. Uh, yeah, so, not Konami, but yeah, not Konami. Fuck Konami. Uh, they're done. <laughs> yeah, they just do a little cheap shit now. But this looks really good. I missed my chance to kickstart it, but I'm still gonna buy it day one. Oh yeah, I'm done. And they, they're coming out with a uh, remaster of the first two games. Too. Yep, I have that on here. Oh, you have it on yeah. there. Okay. So these next, for pretty much until we get to a certain point, all of these next couple games all just have a 2023 release date. So they may come out this year. Yeah. They may not. So that started with Grand Blue Fantasy. Mm-hmm. So everything Grand Blue Fantasy and after are going to be either 2023. The last like six games we talk about, it just say to be announced. Mm-hmm. So, but I know you're excited for this next one. Oh, Alan Wake 2. Yes. Uh, Alan Wake 1 is really good. I didn't beat it yet. But uh, it's by it's made by Remedy Studios. They've always been making good shit. Yes, Max Payne. Oh, I love Control. it. Control. Yes. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this a lot. They Hopefully said this is good. gonna be a more survival horror type game too mm-hmm. than the first one. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Just give me some more of that survival horror. Give me that fixed camera angle. I want I want tank controls. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. I don't want tank. Don't, I want them. You don't want tank. <laughs> it's like I've look, man. We we'll, we we'll can talk about. It. I I will defend the tank controls to the day I die because we okay we. I want the option to pick. There you go. Option. I'm cool with it. Like that Options. one game, Tortured Souls. Yeah, you get the option yeah. to either play just normally because you can control your way. Yeah. I want fixed fixed camera. Angle. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I mean, I personally, they, I personally think they still work. Yeah, I think so too. But like the tank controls, I get it. They yeah. only really did that because they didn't know what they were, they were doing back then. Yeah. So I want the option of tank controls because I can control tank controls, but it does get confusing. Yeah. So I understand. Uh, but give me give me some more. I know Ellen Wake is like I'll be like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm just asserting my what, what I want out of gaming now. The next game oh, yeah, is this one looks good too. It's the Tales of Team, and I think didn't they say Amazon or some shit? Yeah, it was made by Amazon. Yeah. Games too. Blue Protocol. It just looks like an action RPG, like not MMO. I don't think. I think it's gonna be more like a like how Fantasy Star Online is. Yeah, I don't think it's an MMO. Yeah. That's. It, it kind of looks like it, but think it looks a, sweet, though. I think so. it's a games as a service. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It looks really cool, though. The we'll fighting looks real cool. We'll have one Babylon's Fall. We thought that was going to yeah. be good. I mean, it played cool. Yeah, but no you played it, played, right? No way played it. How though. dope would that have been as a single player game? Exactly. I wanted a single player game, man. Everyone so did. sweet. Yeah, I think that's why I died. Yeah. Nobody, it just came out of nowhere. It's hard to do that type of game. Yeah. And another Yakuza. Another Yakuza. Gaiden. This no, this is a new one. I think this, I believe this yep. is a new one. Yeah. This is the, the real Yakuza Seven. Mm-hmm. The man who erased his name. Yeah, because you play as it, it plays just like one through six, and mm-hmm. you play as Kiryu still. Yeah, he's so, older. Yeah. yeah, like a dragon, Gaiden or whatever. The man who erased his name. So I'm another man, another Yakuza game. I'm not mad about it, dude. Yeah, I love Yakuza. So. It might make me play the old. It might make me go back and play the old ones after Ishin might make me. This comes out first. Yeah, I might play Ishin, pop in Kiwami two, run through that, and then I might play uh three, four, and five. Look, they're good, man. They're good. I've beaten zero Kiwami and six, and that was before Kiwami two came out. Okay, I got. I see. I want to play all of them. I'm. I'm like almost done with uh, Kiwami one. I'm gonna play two, three, you know, all that. I want to play yo well, the real the other one what is it like like a dragon or something was it Yakuza like a dragon that's supposed to be seven right yeah okay yeah that's confusing uh but yeah this is like basically the seventh one yep all right uh so next one we're looking forward to we thought it was gonna come out last year <laughs> yeah I've been look waiting for this for a while Metal Slug Tactics it uh it honestly looks like it's gonna play like Final Fantasy Tactics you think so it's grid based the sprites yeah it, it looks dope 
Never yeah. heard of Like Here Studio, but it's yeah. also uh, what's a team that made? Uh, can you read it off that box? Is it Dot Mu? But yeah, Dot Mu is who pu- they're publishing it. They're the guys who published uh, Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge, and they made Streets of Rage Four. Yeah, I mean, it's another tactical game. Yeah, uh, Metal Slug. Metal Slug is dope. So hopefully it comes out this year. And then the next game. Another one for Ooh. me. It used Another to be for me too. It used to be called Project Eve. Yeah, I knew it was not going to be the name. Now it's called Stellar Blade. It's like a Korean company, I think. Yeah, it is. And it looks like a combination of Nier Automata and Dark Souls, the way it plays. Ooh. Let's say that again. I love it. That's my yeah, it looks two fucking favorite games. Man. Dope. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Jiggle physics and all. Yes. Give me those jiggle, jiggle figures, physics. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Hopefully, it's good. I mean, I never heard of Shift Up Corporation, but it looks like they put a lot of work into it. So yeah. Hopefully, it's good. And next is that Su- Sukoden One and Two remasters we were mm-hmm. talking about. Yeah. I mean, it's remasters. So yeah. If you want it, like a cheap way to get the uh, now you don't have to pay four hundred dollars to yeah. play the first two games. So that's good. Yeah. And then the next one, Ease Ten, which I have Ease. I've never beaten an Ease game, but I've played a couple hours on most of them. They're mm-hmm. really fun action RPGs. I've never I have, really played one. I have eight and nine on PS4. I'm thinking of rebuying them because they're <laughs> re-releasing them for PS5. Eight are, eight, eight's already out. It's only forty bucks. Uh-huh. And then nine is scheduled to be released. Man, for there's PS5. so many of them though. Wow. Yeah, because they just announced that they're remastering the Oath of Felghana too. God damn. Yeah. So much, it's, look, this. All those games get really good reviews. Yeah, they, they never get bad reviews. Nihon Falcom. Yeah, that's and that's the company that usually makes them. Yeah. Man, just looking at this list and like all the games I haven't played, man, I got just no time to play all these games. If all these games come out this year, yeah. I'm dropping some fucking loot. Yeah, this is gonna look like a great year. So here, take the next one because I know. Ooh, Lies of P. Now this looks like it was like a Pinocchio, Pinocchio yeah. like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Bloodborne. Yeah, it's more of Bloodborne than Dark Souls. But man, if that if this game comes out good, bro, this could be game of the year. It looks uh, high quality, bro. Yes, uh, Neo Wiz Games Round Eight Studio. I don't know who they are, but I'm I'm excited for this game. Every time I see it, more and more of it, I love it, and uh, hopefully it turns out good. It looks really good. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't want to think about it because I don't. I want. I want to play it already. <laughs> so the next game. Oh, I didn't even realize this is a Front Mission Two remake. Yeah. So the Front Mission Two remake is supposed to come out this year. The first one came out this year and got pretty bad reviews, like fifties. Yeah. Wow. What happened to it? I don't know, but oh. I still think it looked cool. Uh-huh. I'm gonna buy it on sale. So it's a remake, not a remaster. Yep. Right? Okay. It's on the Switch. So this next sale. game was yours. <laughs> I looked it up. It's it's like a. It's based Hacking. off an anime. Oh, okay. So, Infinity Strash, Dragon Quest, The Adventures of Dai. Mm. It looks like it's on the the Adventures, or the Trials of Mana Remix engine. Oh, okay. That's what it looks like. It looks it looks and plays like that. Mm-hmm. Looks cool. I beat the Trials of Mana Remake. Probably a day one buy for me, depending on what I got going on at that time, whenever it decides to come out. So, have you seen the anime, or? No. I, I don't think it's dubbed. I only okay. watch dubbed anime. So yeah, I mean it looks sweet. So but there's like so many games coming out. It's like it's getting like it's just too much. <laughs> Honestly, eighty percent of these games that we've brought up, I either want to buy or I at least want to try and play. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been a good like if this, all these games come out, it's gonna be a great. Game. Yeah. The next game you added too. Yep. It's uh it should have already came out yeah. again. Stalker Two, Heart of Chernobyl. Um the. I've never played the first games. There's like two or three of them, mm-hmm. but I have friends that have, and they actually look cool. They just look a little old now, yeah. To where I don't, I don't really want to play some that type of game that looks that old. But the new one looks dope. It's almost like Fallout, and I don't know. It looks fucking cool. You ever play uh, Metro? 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 Uh, yeah. um, kind of looks hour like that. Of one. Yeah, it does. Yeah, kind of looks like that. This is more, I think, RPG though. It's like more RPG. Open okay. world. Yeah, that's just like a first-person shooter. Kind yeah. Of survival. Now, we brought, kind of brought this up earlier. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. What? I put HD 3D. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, what? All right, no, it is, it is HD 3D. Sorry. Is yeah. it 3D? Okay. HD 3D. Two, no, it's HD 2D. It is. HD 2D it's remake. It's an HD remake. 
Yeah, it's it's that Octopath Traveler art style. Oh, so it looks like that. Okay. Yep. All right, sweet. Oh wait, I think we've seen this. Was this in the Game Awards? I don't remember, but they announced I've it before. The, like, like they announced it over a year ago. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you're excited. Yeah. So that's another probably day one buy. And this was like this a, is a day one buy for you. This next one. This was a big announcement, uh, like the <laughs> like ending announcement for the Game Awards. It's Armor Core Six from Software. Uh, doesn't have a release date yet, uh, but I'm excited for this. Also, Lucid, like he called me up. He was like, "Man, this oh, I can't believe it. He loves uh, Armor Core. I had no idea that he liked it so much. So he he's gonna buy that day one too." Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if it turns out well, ooh, it's gonna be good. It's, it's, yeah. so hopefully, it comes out this year though. So the next game, it's a collection. It's already out on PC. It's the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters. Oh yeah. At right. some point in 2023, they're gonna release some. They they did a that bullshit physical release. I hope they do a retail release too for physical, but mm -hmm. it'll at least be released digitally. I think on everything. Yeah. And then after that, this actually is kind of a big one if it plays like it used to. If it yeah. if it, it's the System Shock remake, if it stays like an arena shooter, I'll be real happy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh I've looked it up. It it looks pretty good, so I mean I don't know, like, you don't hear too much about it, so I'm like, kind of like, eh, does it come out or not this year? So, hopefully yeah, it does. I hope it does. You don't hear about it much, but we'll see. But yeah, this but game, oh, I like, I love the first one. I even like the uh, Miles Morales even more. It's Marvel Spider-Man 2. Uh, Insomniac be putting out those bangers constantly, you know, it's going to be great. Hopefully, there's going to be co-op in this, because I think they're pushing more to that. But, fun game for, if you like Spider-Man, definitely buy, buy that. It's going to be PS5 exclusive. And the next one is uh, Pragmata. I, I don't know what this game is. At is this all. the one with the little girl and stuff? Yeah, this no. I don't know anything about this game. They don't have it shown anything. The teaser trailer looks dope. Yeah, it does, but they didn't. Show, I don't think they show any gameplay. Unfortunately, yeah. I only put this on here because it's Capcom. I like you know the new IPs that they do. So yeah. hopefully it's good. It's always good to see new IPs from big companies. Yes. I don't want always the same shit. I don't want always Resident Evil. I need yeah. How many too. times have we said the word remaster or remake on yeah, this list? Yeah, I mean, I the rem the remakes that are coming out this year, I really want, but it's I really rather have more new games. So. Yeah, and this next one, come it comes out in January in Japan, so I'm sure we'll probably get it at some point. Mm -hmm. It's Disgaea Seven. Oh, it's, it doesn't come out the same time anymore. It's not confirmed. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I thought they. I think everybody knows. I thought everybody still does that. I mean, it used to be like Japan always got the games first, and then the trails later. The Legend of Heroes games, trails. They still we, we get shit like a year, two years after. Wow. I guess they do have to translate. Yeah. I guess the smaller companies they can't really do that. Yeah. Time. Yeah, but, but Disgaea, yeah. Disgaea Seven, more of the same, but it's still got the ugly 3D art style from Disgaea Six. Oh, shit. But we'll see. And next is uh, Saber Interactive with Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. And what from what I've seen, it's like a third-person sh uh, shooter, mm -hmm. adventure, whatever. It looks dope. It, lo it does look dope. Yeah. Uh, it, wait, what is that originally? Warhammer? Is that like a RTS? Oh, no, it's a tabletop. It's with, a tabletop? Like D&D, &D, but oh, with, with figures and oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you painted it. And yeah. Stuff. yeah, that's where it's from, yeah. I, I hear about that, and they made it into a video game. Yeah. So, yeah, that... It was on the it was a trailer for that on the Game Awards. It was the sweetest part. But that is the last game that ha that has a 2023 release date. Yeah. So the, next, yeah. The yeah. rest of it, sorry. No. The no. rest of the games all just say to be announced. Yeah. So, but these are hype games. Hopefully, they're gonna be good. Yeah. Including Sil three Silent Hill games: Silent Hill 2 Remake, Silent Hill F, and Silent Hill Townfall. To me, all three of the companies making them are kind of doggy. Yeah, I don't no code. Like, what? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Neo Bards and Blooper Team. They made the medium, right? Yeah. And they, that was just like. And the, um, they made the medium, and they made something. The else. Layers of Fear. Maybe yeah, one of those games. Yeah. It's like it was like these. It was all right. Oh, the Blair Witch. Games. They made the Blair Witch. I heard that was not good. Yeah. So. So yeah. Um. I'm sure Blooper Team will do it. They've never done a game with combat though. They never done? No. One? Really? Oh. So, we'll see. Uh, like, the combat in, I mean, Silent Hill 2 is just, it's it, not the a main focus, really. It's more like the exploration. Uh, yeah, because I, I think they're keeping it the same. Just Like a fixed camera angle? Yeah. If they do that, I'd be more interested. Um, it's, like, Silent Hill 2, I don't really think it needs that much of a remake. I think the first one needs it. That's what I think. 
Mm. So, uh, but I think it's fine just the way it is. Hopefully, they do a good job. But Silent Hill F, I think I'm more looking forward to that. That is like more the, the Japanese one. Yeah, yeah. I, the, I just I wish they would have said like, here you go, Capcom. Thank you. Silent Hill 2 remake on yeah. on the RE engine. Like, you know how much money they'll make? You know Konami don't care about anything else but the money. So yeah. I don't understand why they... I guess they Capcom would want too much money. And, like, Konami, they just don't care about their IP. So yeah. I wish they would just sell that shit. Yeah. I wish we would have got Silent Hills still. Oh, man. That's one... See, that's one that's of the best a, horror games. It's not even, like, a real game. That's, like, the, the biggest burn of gaming ever. Yes, that's yeah. the, that, That's out of every canceled game ever. That's the one that hurts the most. Yeah, man. Ooh. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah. It's like, it was so perfect. Imagine a whole game like that. Whoa. That game, I could talk about that all day. Yeah. But uh, Silent Hill F, I think I'm more the most excited for. Silent Hill Townfall, I mean, was there even gameplay for that either? There, no. Yeah, there so wasn't gameplay for F either. These, these are all announcements. Yeah. So, so, I mean, it's cool to see Silent Hill, but Silent Hill hasn't had a good track record the past, like, decade or something. So, yeah. But the first three games are great. Uh, but go ahead for the next one. The next one's a mobile game. It's uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Ever Crisis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's basically another re- Final Fantasy VII remake. But oh, it is? Okay. It's going to be turn-based. The graphics, everything looks dope mm-hmm. until you get in the battle. When you get in the battle, it goes into like the PlayStation 4's remake graphics. Oh, yeah. I wish it stayed chibi or whatever, how whatever you call like their regular gameplay mm-hmm. graphics. But this is gonna incorporate everything. Uh, Advent Children, Crisis Core, Dirge of Cerberus, Before Crisis, uh, all the books. It's gonna incorporate everything into this remake. Okay. And it's gonna be like episodic and shit. It looks cool. And then Dragon Quest Twelve. Yeah, the so Flames of Fate. Dragon Quest Twelve, The Flames of Fate probably won't come out in twenty twenty three. Yeah, I don't hear anything about that. But they said it's going to be rated M. Rated M? A that's Dragon it. Quest that's, game that's is rated the, M. That's the rumor right now. Final Fantasy Sixteen's rated M. It is? Yeah. Oh wow. But like Dragon Quest seems like so. Yeah. It just seems PG thirteen or like T. No. Just seems like that type of game. This is a hot take, right? Oh. Especially to Japanese people. I hope. It's action based. You think all oh, you hope is that? Oh, oh, people are not gonna like that. Well, <laughs> I like turn based RPGs. I but... do too, but high quality shit like this, mm-hmm. I'd rather be busting ass. Okay, look, I like my. I turn- like Dark Souls, so I'm with you on that. I want my turn based shit mm. to look like like the old school Octopath Traveler. Okay, all right, yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I, I, all right, I, look, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You're not shitting on the old school style, yeah. so. You just went in like in the old school look. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, you hopefully you get both nowadays. You got the Oct- Octopath <laughs> Traveler and you get the new Final Fantasy. So. Yeah. Uh, and then one last game, which also probably won't come out in 2023, but or this lifetime. <laughs> Kingdom. Yeah. If it's anything like the Part Three, Kingdom Hearts Four. That I mean, so the trailer, it looked like I don't know. It's I didn't. I wasn't feeling that trailer when it first I, came out. I wasn't either, bro. Yeah, it it's just still it, Kingdom Hearts, bro. It just looked like a normal day in the in the hood. <laughs> it's like it was weird. That's, that's a day one for me. Yeah, I like, know. I know you'll get the day one. Like though. crazy day yeah. one. But uh, hopefully it turns out well. I know, like you, you still like three, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it, but Kingdom Hearts is like big series, and, and they won't give it up. And I guess we could break the sixty nine and do a seventy. Is they they did that alone in the dark too. Since we're oh, talking you about, break the sixty nine. All right, since, let's talk since, about that. Since we're talking about other games that probably won't release, yeah. but that alone in the dark looks dope. Yeah, um, that's like the originator of survival horror. So yeah. even before Resident Evil. Uh, but yeah, if that turns out well, I mean, any horror game it was good. I love them. It's like some of my favorite genres. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We have seventy now games that we talked about. Um, so definitely looks better than last year. Oh yeah, I think I, yeah. I thought like at first I was like because Elden Ring was coming out and like Horizon. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be like a really good year. And then this past year it was just decent. Yeah. So, if you added up all the shit we liked combined, it was still less. It was like less than ten games, kind of. I think probably. I mean, I'll always play more games if I had time, and also yeah. uh, Callisto Protocol was. I guess heard it was a disappointment. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So what do you think is gonna be your 
your favorite game this year? Like, what do you, do you think it's going to be? Your game of the year or who's going to win the, the game of the year? So, I'll give two because Final Fantasy VII Remake might not come out this year. Okay. It might be it might be early 2024. Uh-huh. So, that would be mine. Second place for mine would be FF16. Mm-hmm. And what I think will win. Who do you think is going to win? I mean, FF16 has a chance. I think it does, if it's really good. Um, other than that, Resident Evil 4 Remake could be up there. I think, yeah. Zelda. Yeah, I think Zelda too is going to be, if it's like good, I, Zelda. I think Zelda will win, because for, I, I know people like. They won last time. I, I know people love Zelda, and they say they're good games, but I think it's overrated, bro. Oh yeah, we know. We, we're gonna have a discussion about that one. You it, it is a little overrated. You I, you love Zelda, but come on, it, it's overrated. Oh yeah, it is overrated. It's it is not overrated. game of the year every time they come out. Game. Yeah, I, I don't feel that because I don't. I like Zelda a lot. I I like the uh, the last one a lot though. The the older ones they're okay. Like the the Ocarina of Time. Yeah. That, I think that's overrated. It when it came out, it was great, but then people say it's still the greatest game. It's not. Yeah. It's it's dated. Um, but. That's for sure going to win if it comes out. Yeah. Uh, that or maybe Resident Evil 4. The only way I think Zelda won't win is if it's too much of the same of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. If it's that, then it... Because that was like a huge difference in yeah. terms of all the Zeldas. That's why it was such a big deal. So this looks more of the same, so it could not yeah, win. That, that could hurt it or help it. Yeah. Well, well, it can go 50-50. But people go blind when they see Zelda. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think it could, it's probably going to be Zelda if those, it turns out well. Those are... The top three My for sure. My sleeper, sleeper is uh, Atomic uh, Heart. Oh, is it Atomic Heart? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess Diablo 4 could possibly have a chance if it's actually good. St- oh, and Starfield. Oh, Starfield, yeah. That's going to be a big game. Yeah. but uh, And then that would be it. Yeah. I don't think anything else will really beat those. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's about it. I don't think Forspoken is going to do anything crazy. I mean, all the Fire Emblems get really crazy good reviews, but I don't think they're going to be good enough to be like in the game. No, nah, they category. just really do the same stuff. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, that is our thoughts for the 2023 games coming out. Uh, hopefully, it's a great year. Uh, what t- let us know what your <laughs> most anticipated games for 2023 is in the comment section below, or hop in the Discord and or hop in the Discord. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll put a link down below. And uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next dimension.